Horny Brook in his third year, a little check at the line. Taylor hesitates and he's going to get dragged down. Garrett Groshek is in as the third down back, and that's a story to watch throughout this game as well. Horny Brook completes to A.J. Taylor. First, I just didn't think he trusted what he saw. He prepares, but then he didn't trust it come game day at times. A mini hurdle from Taylor back. Taiwan Deal is in as the tailback. Horny Brook looks that way, and the newly healthy Taiwan Deal, who's in part in charge of... First down, Wisconsin. Taiwan Deal's first carry of the season. Over the top in the play action. Horny Brook on the move. Something he's tried to improve on, and he was under direct feet and throwing accurate pass. Eighth play of the drive. Horny Brook has it complete. It's a first down across the 40. Jake Ferguson. Front combination in one guy yet. Motion at the line. Taylor's bumped, and he goes down behind the line. Of and, and they can run through gaps like they did on that play. Horny Brook, wide side, and dropped. A.J. Taylor, the involved. Have to get to the 29. Horny Brook, stressed, outside the pocket. Ready to throw, down the sideline he goes, and this is incomplete. Groshek on the sideline. Team that's won at least 10 games four straight years gives up the ball as Western Kentucky deferred and got exactly what it wanted on the opening drive. A stop. Cray with the fair years. This is going to be interesting. Had one of his best practices ever the other day getting ready for this game and he will use his feet tonight and he's got a complete and then take vertical shots when they have the chance to. On the ground for the first time, and nothing there. Zach Bond with the tackle. Would like so they move him inside. And we'll see what happens. Third down and short for Eccles. Quick set under pressure. Down he goes. Ryan Connolly, the senior linebacker out of the state. Number walk on in Connolly, who got a scholarship three years ago, stops the drive and this punt. Fortunately for Western Kentucky, takes something of a positive bounce. This one begins there, and Heisman hopeful Jonathan Taylor off the counter on first down. He's got a gap to show off the speed. Taylor breaks a tackle. Taylor down the edge for the touchdown. Brilliance from Taylor. After four carries for nine yards on the opening drive for Taylor, a 40 type of guy you root for. Oh, can you pick a better face for this program right now? I don't think so. Western Kentucky gets it back. Question is, will Jonathan take He stays back. He waits for his guys up front to go to work. And then he has the speed to make you pay for it. Second time at the controls for Eccles off the short set. He'll get across the 35-yard line. Lane with the... He keeps it himself, and down he goes. Third down and short. Trigg on the run, and he might have gotten there. Far side official is right at... Eccles up the middle, and think about this for possible strike. It's really, really good to see the young man get in a chance here this evening. He's got a wide open lane, Eccles into Badger territory, Eccles and I know you like the idea. Once, maybe two times in that young man's career. Quinn Jernigan, throwback. Eccles with a flag down, it's incomplete, and we'll check the marker in the middle of the field. Wow. Chop block, number 61, number 67, offense. 15-yard penalty, repeat, first down. We're going to see some special talents later on from him. Athleticism there. He's only 340. Quick trigger. This is not going to go anywhere except into the ground. Felt like that was something he could add to his team this year. Over the middle. Echoes. Nearly intercepted. That's the guy we told you about, Scott Nelson. Third down and forever for Echoes. He steps up. He runs. 
Eccles makes it manageable inside the 45. Jack Dunn, the sophomore receiver, back to take it in. In traffic, he makes the catch. We told you about Olive Sangapoli. And one more time. First down run, Taylor. Left side, not a bounds. We told you before the break, Olive Sangapoli. And we will crown a champ in our Friday night hidden talents here in 2018. So you can, how many do you really think there are who can do that? I, I think that's one. I don't know that we'll find any others. We will be on the search for that all season long, right, Olivia? Well, guys, I even... The hand of that big guy as well that was pretty impressive. I'm excited to see who could possibly beat him, whichever one gets chosen. Hornybrook is driven backwards, still not stopped. Masai White drove him all the way inside the 12. Brought someone from the secondary, and Garrett Gro Grocheck had an opportunity to step up there and protect his quarterback and didn't get it done. And a flag comes in, stopping this play. Ball starts, number 79, offense. Five-yard penalty remains third down. Purdue with a great game last night as Wisconsin decides to wave the... Olivia Decker downstairs with Kelly Stauffer, Jason Benetti along with you from Camp Randall Stadium. As Lottie punts to Roger Cray, and it's a good one inside the 40. Cray is dropped. 26-2 and two would be my pick to start the season and then work... Tua in as the season rolls along, but who knows it now? It's funny you said flip a coin situation, but I like the veteran and then work the youngster in. A really good half of football, even in the national championship game, does not a career make for a quarterback. Eccles decides on discretion throwing. He's a darn good one. Third down and nine. Eccles. Sideline. There's nobody home. Great coverage from Caesar. Coverage right there. Ranella punts again. Done to receive. And he lets it bounce sideways out of bounds. He throwing this season. On first down, Barney Brook steps up and has a completion into plus territory. First down, Kendrick Pryor. It was fantastic. Sideline, Taylor, it was behind him. Groshek in the backfield, second down. Garrett Groshek. So with that about Horny Bro, yeah. he told us. Get you in a more manageable down and distance, and it takes pressure off with those vertical throws down the field. Horny Bro, left side, too much. Taylor was in a wide open pasture. Body's punt inside the 10. Tough field position for Western Kentucky. He is. Watch out for LSU because they're always ultra talented. Danny Etling had an 86 yard touchdown run in the preseason for the Patriots the other day as we check in downstairs with Olivia on that matchup. Well, guys, a coordinator at Ohio University who played the day before. Interesting stuff for the Tigers. Yeah, perfect scheduling right there. How about that? It's this one to the edge is not going anywhere. Jacor Pearson, the redshirt sophomore, get this crowd fired up already in his first game. On third down, Eccles, senior, down the sideline, and no chance. Quinn Journey. Playing with quarterbacks, and Scott Nelson did on that last play. What a terrific player. Dunn back to receive. Down he goes. Flag comes in. Now, this is going to be kick catch interference. Interference, number 15, kicking team. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. JT Taylor here. Neither one of them is really doing a whole lot except for that one run with Taylor. Prior to the edge, he stays in bounds and puts his head down inside the 20 to this. Taylor, the eye back, play action. Horny Brook under pressure, end zone incomplete. Antoine Kid Ingold up the middle, and Alex Hornibrook was so efficient in the red zone. After a gain of one, third and nine.
pocket collapses. Down he goes. Jeremy Darvin, the red shirt sophomore, who quarterback is Western Kentucky did right there. Rafael Gaglianoni, who's dealt with some back issues. His first drive is here. It is good. Wisconsin gets four. Wisconsin kid, and look at him now. That's that's pretty special right there. Wisconsin way. We just saw on the screen. I mean, he's going to get a snoop full, a very good line, but when you bring more than they can protect, then you get to the quarterback. Joshua Samuel just gets cleaned out at the 30-yard line. Get to Hornibrook, and one of them did. Jeremy Darden did right there. Eccles spins out of Nelson. And it's incomplete. He wanted Lane past Cayman, Alabama. So he's felt a big spot like this before. Not as a starter, though. This would be a great time for him. Third down, Eccles. Out of the backfield, this will not get there. Garland LaFrance run down. On the other side, and two volume guys that are very, very good in the middle. That's a good group. Punt backspins out of bounds. Is a demolition derby for these guys who every once in a while go to the local Red Robin and put it away. I mean burgers and shakes and if you don't you can't live without them all all in one day it's it's amazing how they do that on the delay Taylor without any of those linemen around him got invited even though I didn't drink I knew I had arrived and that was still a great moment and some of those guys are still my best friends life-changing yeah. morning Brook sideline route He's got the first down again the tight end Ferguson who's been targeted converted a third down in the last five opportunities. They go straight up the middle with Taylor who's bottled up Olivia. As he tries to make the Bronco team is be that guy that can block and be a mismatch in the pass game. Horny Brook down the field incomplete rattled around with Taylor. Ferris got there to Kansas City. Third down. Horny Brook finds a space to throw it and finds a first down inside the 30 yard line. First down, Taylor, sideline, cuts it in, keeps his feet for the touchdown. His second tonight. He scored on before. Western Kentucky tries to undercut the Polars, and it's called a spill technique. You want to spill Jonathan to get third and level. Didn't arrive on time, and Taylor took it to the end zone. This is why you make friends with your offensive line. Needed right now. My home state, and to say they're excited would be an incredible understatement. Let's check in with that team to nothing, and these games are not, they're not exactly walkovers sometimes. We've seen it. In recent years, you could get yourself in trouble in openers. Eccles to the sideline, and for Ohio State, that situation. Final result, Urban Meyer will be back for the fourth game for the Buckeyes as Western Kentucky has a first down. Do what they're expected to do, but you don't know until you get out there and let it go. Eccles met in the hole at the 40-yard line. And that's what we expected to see out of this team, even though they lost a lot of familiar faces from a year ago. Some injuries on the defensive line. They get pressure anyway. Black comes in. Eccles has a completion, but this may come back. It's Mike Quan Dean. Seven. Offense. Ten yard penalty. Repeat. Second down. Athletes who can play at the second and third levels. Second and long. Eccles over the middle and batted around incomplete. That's Nelson. LSU in Miami, I think, is going to be big for me. I think LSU is going to be much, much more difficult to handle than most people understand. And obviously, Washington Auburn is going. Michigan has a quarterback with that defense. Look out. Over the shoulder, and Dunn has to fall on it. I would assume Mac Brown's going to be that guy and a good choice, but all of them could handle it really well. That's a good group for that room. Alex 
Sornybrook with time, and he steps out of bounds. Mac Brown, I'm told, actually asked on it once. That's what we tell you you should do. One timeout left for Hornybrook. That one flutters to the 40-yard line. Ferguson once again has a third catch for Ferguson, who's from right here in Madison Memorial High School. Hornybrook sideline again. Good coverage, a lot of hand fighting, and incomplete. Prior was one play in the pass game of 20 or more in the offensive line with a rare hiccup. But and that time it was the snapper that forgot. Don't hold that against me, JV. I already am. Second down, Hornybrook scanning, firing down the middle at the 40. AJ Taylor get there and make a good pass to the former high school running back. Now Hornybrook taken down at the 43. Full oh, urgency right now for Wisconsin. Hornybrook throws it incomplete. Holt again. The he can, and they held up decently in the run game in that first half, and just two big plays they gave up to Jonathan Taylor. A nice rebuild by Steve Adazio as Alex Hornibrook slings in across the 30. That's a first down, Wisconsin, and then some. Jack Dunn. The clock moving, and there's the spike. They're stretch the field type of guys, and you don't see that out there on the field right now. Hornibrook over the middle in traffic to AJ Taylor. Whoa. There's the spike. They'll take their time. End of the first half in Wisconsin's opener against Western Kentucky, and another whistle at the snap. Hornibrook is going to have to make plays with his receiving group that haven't got a lot of separation. Hornibrook with his feet. And so, touchdown! Kendrick Pryor, the sophomore. The deep red plays, and I'd like for you to run them. The coach let him do it. Coach for that, not for that, but coach ends up getting fired. They have a new coach that comes in the fourth year. He runs the spread in high school, and Hornibrook always looking for that extra edge. We'll see how that plays throughout this season. Has got to work. And they're guys that are smart enough. Western Kentucky with eight seconds. And a touchback. Every case. A lot of college football fans would not understand how good this program has been under that guy. It's done in the first half. It's a battering ram type of mentality. But I liked what I saw out of Hornybrook as well. I think he did a very good job of making decisions. Just mulling some nice things with his feet. Uh, we got to catch the ball for him too. We got some uh, some experienced receivers. Um, you know those guys are going to make some plays for him here in the second half. I got all the confidence in the world that we're going to come out here. You know, at the end of the day, it's a three-score game right now. We got to go out and uh, put the first one together. Did not do that in the first half. Eccles to throw left side. Sloan inside the 10. Up in a very well thrown ball, ball by Eccles once again. Eccles, edge of the end zone. Well, Mike Sanford just told. And a whistle. Delay of game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Remains. Second down. Officially a minute into the second half, Eccles to throw. And it's batted away, incomplete. Very young spot for Wisconsin. Eccles to run. Shoulder to shoulder in player. He's a red shirt freshman. Ryan Nuss, the red shirt senior with a young holder, and this one is through. Where do they keep that hard work? They're trying to improve it maybe after an orange bowl that didn't go terribly well against the Badgers. Aaron Crookshank on the outside across the 30 yard line and an injured for a couple of weeks. So the wide receiving core is thin. Where do you turn? Jonathan Taylor. Loss for this Badgers team, number four in the country. Taylor, Stonewall. Flag does come in late. Hands to the face. Number 55, defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. 
Automatic first down. Call it initially, but if you sustain that contact to the face, it's a penalty. Boy, that last play is an example of how quick. That's Jonathan Taylor. On the toss, Taylor across the 30 as we check in for more on Pryor with Olivia. Yeah, guys. No matter how hard you try to. Hornybrook, play action. Loads a tie. Pointing out to Taylor. He lobs it in traffic incomplete. The bad decision. This should have been the first interception of Alex Hornibrook this season. Those are the type of play. Turn them into touchdowns. That's what will make the Badgers a playoff team in 2018. They will run. A run out of Taiwan deal, then it really works well for Jonathan Taylor. Short way incomplete. No flag yet. To Corey and Darden was on Taylor. This season for Wisconsin. From 42 yards away, Rafael Gaglianoni. And you said it, we didn't. Into the end zone it goes, and Ruffin will take a knee. Olivia and Sam, we'll get to your questions later. 27-3, Western Kentucky on the offense. You were talking about before the break, it might be to get yourself ready for a spot like this, as Eccles has a first down across the 40-yard line, and getting used to that kind of sound, although everybody associated with Western Kentucky is a little bit tired of that one specific song in preparation for three points. Obviously, you would have loved to get that one in the end zone and finding a little bit in the past game. We have already seen some good plays here, but there just isn't a way you can prepare for the humidity. You can prepare for the jump around and all the noise, but at the end of the day, you're getting your you're getting pounded upside the head and you're starting to cramp up. Fortenberry again breaks a tackle and shimmies for the first. He seems real cool to me, and he has a good whip on it, a good feel in the pass game. That here in the second half. Eccles has run for 38 yards as well. A little counter action. I am. So you just general public needs to get that right. That's what we do in general, yeah. Eccles rolling out. Using his feet to throw back and nicely done on the release by Lane. Passer, number 54 on the defense. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. First and 10. Freshman is in the shotgun now for Western Kentucky. He hands it off in a big bear hug that he didn't want for Garland LaFran. The previous play. He's back now. Eccles. Throws the other way from the motion and has a completion inside the 15. Xavier Lane, but a mark. But if you don't let people get touchdowns, you can win a lot of football games that way. And they're even better here at home as the crowd gets loud on third and three. LaFrance, reverse, and throw. Echoes and intercepted. Pick. Able to take that next step, though. They were so close a year ago. Well, look, they made that interception on the Jernigan. Yeah, Jernigan, put the ball on your quarterback when you're throwing it. Don't throw that lollipop out there because he was open early, but Hicks intercepted it late. How much he's loved here and how much he can celebrate the game of football was the wording he used. Straight up the middle. For a first. And fullbacks also need to be that guy. Taylor to the edge, to the 19. Touch him anywhere. Look, Mr. Pass for Louisville has quite the defense to you can, face. You can call him Puma. Puma Pass. I can? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nasty defense. They lose like 87 guys every year, and they bring back a defense that seems to be as good as the next crew. How do they do that? Ball's loose. And Western Kentucky's got it. Drell Green down the side. You don't see that make you cough it up. Trig up the middle. And if there's one place you're going to. Melvin Gordon. Eccles rolling the pocket. 
And he finally has to unload. That's not going to happen. Starter in college football. Eccles against Wisconsin. And zone incomplete. Lane again, the target. Exactly what Williams did right there. Fourth down and six. Eccles, sideline, incomplete. Very composed as Taylor is out. Taiwan Deal is in. Hornybrook to his tailback. It's Taylor. For out to wait your turn, and here it is. Taiwan Deal. What's that like, that first start in college? You hope the game slows down over time. And I think Drew Eccles is done a great job here this evening. Taiwan Deal takes a big hit and gets a first down for a senior out of DeMatha in Maryland. Horny Brook over the middle, and he's got a completion to... Lures, he has a company idea, and if he doesn't make it to the NFL, he wants to be a Bass Pro Fisherman. How about that? We've given flack to some student alarmingly so, as everybody here jumps up and down. Crookshank. Wanted a little bit more on the offense. 15 yard penalty for the previous spot. Replay, second down. We've seen a couple of those now. Yeah, Gabe Lloyd, number 46, blocks below the waist, and you can no longer leave the box and block below the waist. So that's what you see right there. Once they're outside the box area, can no longer block below the waist, right? Right. Nobody five yards downfield can block the, below the waist. To the sideline. Taylor of this game tonight. Hornybrook. Groshek. Cuts it inside. Groshek. Inside the 10. Touchdown. I mean, he wants to be involved in that part of the game as well out of the backfield. And a great way to use a powerful, productive running back is to screen to him at times. Declaration by the governor, and we certainly hope for the best for this area. A lively, spirited college football town and college basketball flight. He showed up here, he fell in love with it, but uh, it took some convincing of his mother. You gotta wait for mama to say okay. I think it worked. Perennial double figure win team as Western Kentucky continues. Field should be. And Barry Alvarez has, he played at Nebraska and played for Bob Devaney, and you see a lot of similarities in the way this program was built. When Nebraska was winning, get guys that have a passion for the program, and then you go look for other guys just like them. And the guys have to work, and they have to be willing to be teachable, and why would you not look at Jim Leonard? I mean, I think he's a very, very good, young, talented defensive coordinator. But you got to pay him to stay, and I get that. Yeah, it is a breakout in hives because I know guys like that, and they're always doing something to get in the quarterback's head, and he was pretty good at it. Third down, Eccles on the run. It's fourth down. The trainer held on to that left wrist forearm all the way into that tent you just saw. So Shanley is in. He goes to the sideline, and Jernigan, who backs his way. First time starter, and then Shanley, who threw for 4,000 plus yards in two years at South. Here we go. Up the middle, DeAndre Furby. Six incompletions in the first half were dropped footballs. He was putting the ball on the money. Purdue. Again on the ground for the Hilltoppers. Um, but there's a reason that Jeff Brom left, and it wasn't just to get paid. This offense was losing essentially everything. Um, and so that's what Mike Sanford... Trying year for him and the program with a lot coming across his desk as Shanley leads them inside the five and gets his clock clean. Shanley on the keeper. ...by the defense, holding offense, number 67. Penalty is declined. The result of the play gives the ball to Wisconsin first and ten. 
on him. We will check in with Olivia after this play, but uh, quite the interesting man, Mike LaCrone, as he continues to strike up the band here, Olivia. What an awesome guy. The flavor of college football goes through the fans and the band team. He said, the band director has more pull than I do. <laughs> hey, hey, dude, if you can get an elephant. It is bittersweet for him. He says there's been a lot of tears. I can imagine so. I mean, he's been here for 50 of the 101 years at Camp Randall Stadium. I mean, he is part of this place. As the run game continues to surge, Taiwan deal. That that almost went right in his ear hole. You clearly were never in bad. Deal. To the 39 yards. However, zero interceptions, and that's where we have to begin. There were only three games last year where he did. The entire time he's been here, but when it comes, it comes as Hornybrook will throw one more time. Why not wing it deep? Hey, tomorrow. You know, can you, can you bet on which quarterback is actually going to take the field, Alabama? Kelly, I hate to tell you this. I I'm sure. I'm sure, you sure can, there is. Yeah. Improves this season. Yeah, proper ball placement by a quarterback is what leads to yards after the catch. And so there's a general focus where you just Same. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so Jim Leonard was in a conversation somewhere along the way about defensive coordinating and I don't know how far it went, but it tells you what neighborhood Jim Leonard is. The ball on the carpet gave it to the other team six times a year ago. He has to cut down on those as well but i think his vision decisiveness was above average and then he coughed it up once when it turnovers can you handle mr quarterback Didn't you teach it one time i would have hated to be in your classroom yeah tough to get an a that's how it's supposed to be yeah i wasn't giving him an a but a c i think was sufficient third down and across the 20 yard line Next, obviously are well aware of what he does and Western Kentucky did a pretty good job with him. But keep this in mind, the run game for Wisconsin. One more turnover, just for good measure. And one flat. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. First and 10. So quarterback and receivers are- Conference games before a trip to Kinnick Stadium for Wisconsin in a few weeks. Be aware of that one. Oh yeah. One of the biggest untimed downs of this college football season right is here. on the way. It's very early in the year. Yeah. One last play for the Hilltoppers. A couple of touchdowns from Taylor tonight. Alex Hornibrook with a solid first game. Final play from Shanley here at Camp Randall. We have one more flag. Camp Randall, Wisconsin, 34-3 in the opener in 2018.